I think I have set up enough. Anyway, hey yo! The name's Garios. Today we are playing more Hollow Knight Steel Soul Mode Part 4. Uh, I have not played Hollow Knight in a hot fucking minute. Probably because I was so busy with the sponsorship and stuff, but that is officially done. We are done with the sponsorship. Big thanks to Raid for sponsoring the channel, and thank you to all of you for helping me out to reach the goals. Y'all did great. Seriously, thank you everybody that helped out. But without further ado, let's get into the game. Oh, this is going to be bad. I can feel it. <laughs> Need to just shut up and start playing the game. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, where did we leave off? I don't have a map. That's where I left off. So that ain't good. I need a map badly. Oh, shit. Hang on. I almost forgot something. Hang on. Just very quickly. Um, there we go. Let me grab that. I don't know what the rule is. If I keep having the bot say, hey, do, uh... Yeah, if the bot keeps saying, hey, play play Raid Shadow Legend, it's like, I mean, I think I can, think it's time to remove that since sponsorship deal is over. Let me see here. Where you at, chatbot? Chatbot! There you are, you little bastard. Nope. There you go. And that is it. All right. All right. Just had to make sure. I think we are set. I think. Pretty sure. Yep, we're set. Okay, here we go. Now we're back on track. So where did I leave off? I don't have a map. I got my double jump. I think I remember killing um, the vessel, the broken vessel, and then his evolved form. After that, I'm not sure where I need to go. Didn't I waste all my money, too, doing something? Oh, right, on the fountain, right? Which there's still... I know I need to put money into that fountain. I need to go back up to this dude, fucking Conifer, and get a map. Because the son of a bitch left me behind. Although, if I have enough money, didn't I do the hidden stagway? I think I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Let me go check. Let me go take a quick look. Be absolutely positive I didn't miss it. Gotta come back for that, but that's only when my uh, dream nail is a high enough level. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to Dirt Mouth then so I can talk to Conifer and get a fucking map because the son of a bitch decided to leave. It's like, dude, I need a map. I'm kind of fucked without it. Help me out. And there's our fangirl. What's up, fangirl? How you doing? You come here often? Well, it's great hanging out with you. I need to get a map, though. Let's see. Map. Yes. <sighs> Hi, lady. Bafanada. Ancient Basin. Yes. Thank you. And there's a map. Oh, Pat! hey -o! Glad to Ooh. see you, Pat. Glad you can make it, buddy. How you doing? Let's see. You got anything for sale? You got some stuff. I need that simple key. And that vessel fragment would be nice, too. I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. Of course, dude. Glad to see ya. All right. Anything else here I could get? I think I'm good for now until I remember that there's something very important here. Or until Wolf or Queen comes in and says, Gary, you missed something again. Did the unboxing count? Yep, it counted. We are all good there, buddy. We're all good. I spoke to Stream Elements, and they said, yeah, you're set, dude. You're all good to go. Good? Yes, indeed. Good. I'm very happy that they were so working, willing to work with me on that. And yeah, they're, they understood. They're like, yeah, it happens sometimes. No more raid sponsorship. Nope, no more raid sponsorship. We're done. The campaign is over. Wasn't that bad. <laughs> Alright, where do I need to... Oh, I can go down here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is where I need to go. At least now I got a fucking map so I know where I'm going. At least he got cash from it. Yep. Well, that's what a sponsorship is, dude. Hey, I know. Look, sponsorships, I know they're not everybody's favorite thing, but they help keep the lights on around here. They make help me keep doing what I do. 
They're one of those steps towards becoming a full-time streamer. Which would be a dream come true. That'd be sweet. Now get better equipment so the crashes won't happen again. Dude, I honestly don't think it was my equipment. After the stream ended, I was looking at everything. Like, really checking everything. And I couldn't find any conceivable reason why it was crashing so bad. Like, honestly, I couldn't. Like, everything we discussed yesterday was fine. I had enough space. Um, Twitch was saying it was online and working fine. Um, OBS said it was alright, but I just couldn't figure it out. It's like there was no conceivable reason why it should have, why it would have fucked up like that. It just decided, hey, guess what, Gary? I'm gonna have a stroke on ya! It's like, haha, fuck you, Gary! And now that's what we're stuck with. Just a mystery on why the hell it decided to get fucked. Can I kill this dude? Yep. Because I need a lot of money now. I need to build up my cash. One for that fountain so I can get another vessel fragment. And two just in general because... Gotta get all that money. <laughs> oh shit. All stream lands like, fuck you and... <laughs> yep, I'm gonna fuck you in the ass today, Gary. Fuck you. It's like, ugh, why Streamlabs? What did I do to upset you? Why did I piss you off? Either that or it was just on the mood. Just having a mood. Streamlabs just like, nah, you know what? I have fucking OCD. I'm gonna be pissed off for now. I'm bipolar. Not, bi not OCD, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Streamlabs is just bipolar and decides to throw a shit bit every now and again. Just to fuck with you. Well, now I'm trying to remember where I needed to go next. I did this. Uh, there's another place I could go to get a bunch of essence. Of, well, I could get a bunch, but it ain't worth it because the guy guarding it is a fucking nightmare to fight off. And he will kill me. I, I cannot argue with him. He will kill me. <laughs> Gary, I'm fucking tired with 20 minutes left of my shift. Do something amusing to keep me up. Streamlabs, fuck me in the ass, it was very rough, I don't know how to stop it, it's just a big fat bitch. <laughs> was that amusing? The old prison wallet was hollowed pretty good, I don't know how to stop it, Streamlabs is my... <laughs> I'm Streamlabs bitch. <laughs> was that amusing? How was that for... You need to go down left, up, right, down, and B start. <laughs> uh... Oh shit, I was paying attention. <laughs> I was looking at chat. I was too busy trying to amuse Queen. <laughs> She's like, do something amusing, quickly! Uh, 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 prison joke. <laughs> Killing things. And hopefully something here. Gary B. <laughs> That's an image of God. <laughs> Fucking goddamn Streamlabs. Right. Oh shit! Hey, dude. Oh, it's you again. I'm glad to see you return. No, no, please, don't say a word. I must apologize for my previous behavior. I've never gotten this dialogue. Entirely my fault. I mistook you for one of those mindless, skulking husks. Yet you bested me in the most majestic, knightly fashion. I fucking love this guy. <laughs> He's great. Such joyful, vigorous combat. I'd almost forgotten the feeling. I was once a knight, you see. By the grace of our good king, I stood proudly before the throne, watching hollowness swell to greatness. Then that nasty business with the affliction. Oh, does he have a bunch of... Wait, go fight Dream Defender and get the King's Idol. Or White Defender, okay. Well, I want to hear him first. We knights defend against the physical, but a formless enemy. How to defeat such a foe? Our king tried in his own way. A cruel means it was. And still, eventually, we were brought low. Bah, I should be... I shouldn't be so morose. You've invigorated me. Tis truly delight to me one whose strength can match my own. Fucking awesome. The White Defender. The Streamlabs song. <laughs> a new clip. A new clip has been made. Go now, mighty warrior of Hollow Nest. You've proven your honor. Good fortune on the path ahead. Um, how do I get back down to him? Isn't it somewhere? Cinnamon roll. He is an absolute cinnamon roll. <laughs> Gotta respect the man. Pure cinnamon roll. There's a reason he's my favorite character. So there were others. What does that mean? So there were others. 
Is he talking about how we had a bunch of like brothers and sisters that were all thrown into the abyss and died and somehow I made it out even though they sealed that shit up planning on nobody to escape? Well now I'm trying to remember how I get down to him. When I can fuck. Oh, shit, is he there again? Yeah, there he is again. He's just chilling. He's just hanging out. And I'm trying to remember. Hey, Gary, you want to hear something hot? Oh. Temperature hot or like sexy hot? Which one are we talking here? Let's see. I wish I could remember how to get down to his fucking. where he hides, where he sleeps. Assuming I can get to him yet. I'm not sure if I can actually get to him because he's awake. He ain't dreaming. So I'm not sure. Sexy hot. Alright, I'm game. Go for it. You have piqued my curiosity. <laughs> you want to hear something hot? Sexy hot. Hmm. Piqued my curiosity. Do I have a map here? I don't have a map here either. Fuck. Oh, shit. Kamikaze bat. Fine. Fine. I don't know where. I don't know where I'm going. I don't have a map of the area. A lot of wandering about to be done here. I think I also, um. Yeah, I also don't have my. I don't have my upwards attack yet, and I want that before I go and fight the Flukeworm Queen, for sure. <laughs> you piqued my interest. Now you have my attention. <laughs> Hello, Lucky. Glad to see you. Glad you can make it. How you doing? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I gotta break that for sure. And down we go. But, yeah, I definitely want to get my upwards attack before I go and try taking on the Queen. Because that attack makes that fight so much easier to do. You just spam that shit and boom. Instant victory. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Haha! -ha. Triple kill. Now, oh, fuck me. Get out of here. Disgusting! This whole place is nasty as shit. Uh, I hate it down here, fucker! God damn it! Son of a bitch! Oh, God, that's a lot. So for National Boob Day, I already like where this is going. <laughs> One of my friends posted a tweet of her boobs wearing a milk bee bra. <laughs> I like it. I approve. <laughs> then she deleted it because she was too embarrassed, but it was too late. I saw it and DM'd her saying how she was fucking hot. And I was expecting that. Response was to send me an even spicier selfie. Damn. You had a good day. You had a good celebration of National Boob Day. <laughs> Congratulations, Queen. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, can I... Hey! Is that a trick shot? Does that count as a trick shot? Doing okay -ish. Spent four hours at the airport just to have the flight canceled and they canceled everyone else. But I'm gonna read that in a second. I gotta kill this thing first. I'm sorry. I gotta kill these things. Die, damn it. Okay, she canceled, and they canceled everyone else's flight, so people were going back to security to get rebooked, so people had been there. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I hate it when a flight gets canceled. Fucking brutal. Especially when you've been there for, like, four hours or something. It's just like, god damn, what the fuck? Assholes. I hopped into Balti Horses, their stream for a minute. Hey! So I'm still streaming, but I'm back now. And then there's Queen. <laughs> what the fucking remote? Damn, Balti Horses streaming? Might be a possible candidate for a raid afterwards. Let's see. These things can climb walls too, can't they? I ain't risking that shit. I know what they can do. I know the horrors of these goddamn fluke worms. Look at them. They're assholes. How can you not hate them with every fiber of your being? Gary just dropping by to say hi, but gotta go see you, Gary. Hey, later, Wolf. Thanks for dropping in to say hi, buddy. Oh, shit. Isn't this... Yeah, this leads to fluke worm, right? Hey, thanks for the lurk, dude. Yeah, this leads to fluke worm. I'm not fighting her yet. I ain't fighting that nasty ass thing yet. Not when I still don't have my um, upwards attack, my shriek. That just would not end well if I tried doing that. 
Suspicious suspicions were rising since there were so many planes just sitting around. Even though the pilots and staff got in so already like, huh, what's going on? Yeah, it's like you can kind of already tell when they're about to hey. As long as there was a Cinnabon there though, I'm content. <laughs> I'm happy. Okay, some of us have to work for a living. See you later. Later, Queen! Have to try to enjoy your work. Don't die too early from it. Because yeah, work can be rough at times. Let's see. This leads up to... Yeah, this leads up to... Okay, yeah, I know this. And I can't go here. I can't go here yet. That'll take me to the... If I'm not mistaken... Yeah, that takes me to the Godmaster stuff. And there's a bunch of giant fluke worms there that are going to ruin my day if I try to get past them. Impersonating, you wouldn't be able to guess. Doing, buddy. <laughs> hey, pal. Hey, friend. Is it one of the Canadians from South Park? Yeah. That's my guess. Let's see, Let's see first thing someone sponsored by Great Channel Legends. <laughs> I mean, not anymore. <laughs> oh, A certain somebody. Gotcha. Come here, you bastard. Ah, you fuck. God damn it. Do a kill, and down you go. Put him down. And rest here. Even though I still don't have a map of the area, because fuck. Because shit. Yeah, that sucks, Lucky. That really sucks. I'm sorry I had to go through that. Let's see. There's also a caterpillar somewhere around here I have to find. Oh, fuck. Any two hits? All it takes. I can't remember. Is this actually water or is it Sprite? Making food at 12.49 a.m. Good God, Pat. You sure you don't just want to sleep? Ah, here it is. Hey, Caterpie! You're free, Caterpie! It's the best time to make food. I mean, I ain't gonna argue with you. I do like doing my late night snacking also. Just like late at night after a long game session, just like, I'm hungry, I'm gonna go make something. Or order a pizza, hopefully somebody's still open. The conifer, you hear it, dude? Oh, I hear a, I hear a rancid egg. Meanwhile, me, it's the best time to do a food search. You're getting it wrong. Oh, I'm getting it wrong. It's not a midnight snack. Wait, 12 a.m. Yeah, isn't that midnight? No, it's dinner. Oh. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. I had to reread that for a second. I'm like, hold up. I read that as a.m., not p.m., right? Shit! God damn it! Not paying attention! This is what's gonna kill me. What's gonna end up ruining the fucking Steel Soul permadeath run is me just not paying attention. Oh, fucking bouncy bitch. Come here, asshole. I haven't had dinner yet. Well, you better get some food. I know, uh, I know you're, you know, how much you're against sleep, Pat, but you can at least be for eating, right? Like, that's something you can count on. God damn it, I hate this place so much. All because of those fucking enemies that just fly. They're quick, they fly around, they're assholes. Is anything here? Oh, yeah, there was something here. Oh, fuck yeah. Another one down. Sleep is for the weak! Pat is not weak! Pat does not know such weakness. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that would happen. If you sleep, you are mortal. Only mortals must rest. Pat is clearly not mortal. He is the opposite of mortal. He is... Unmortal. <laughs> what is this thing called? Sleep? I mean, it's nice early in the morning, but you hate it late at night. 
Because you have to do it. But then early in the morning, you don't want to stop doing it. Okay. A lot here. A lot of fucking enemies. God damn. Immortal. Oh, fuck. Am I have to... Oh, I think that was an arena. That was an arena thing that was supposed to... Oh, a bunch of enemies. Hey, you! Asshole! Oh, ho, aren't these waterways thrilling? A labyrinth of pipes and tunnels. I couldn't have asked for a better place to employ my talents. It's also orderly, so considered. Nothing like the crude irregularity of those caverns. Ah, but so sad. My trunk is telling me those fungal wastes are close, and I sense that my damp adventure may have reached its end. Guess I'll be calling this map done. I'll take it. I'll take it. Immortal, not unmortal, you uncultured fuck. That's the point! That was what I was aiming for! No, it's like the opposite of, you know, being dead versus undead, you know? So, immortal, unmortal. <laughs> it makes sense. Hey, Southern Samurai! Glad to see ya, glad you could make it. How you doing? <laughs> now, let's just get a move on here. I guess we're going back into the mushroom realm. The fungal wastes. I like mushroom realm more. <laughs> Can't remember if I got everything here. I... No, I didn't, but I need to have, um... I need immunity to the, the sprite. For me to go through that way and not die a horrible, painful death. I could go down. Actually, that way isn't too far. Far. I could go check there at least. Might be something good. I'm great. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Feels good to be playing Hollow Knight again. It's been too long. Too, too long. Especially on our Steel Soul playthrough where if I die, it's over. Game over for good. Oh, God. No, wait, I don't need to go this way. Why am I going this way? I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupider than everyone here. Maybe if I go up. Yeah, this way works. Yeah, this way works fine. Oh my god, all the emotes. <laughs> so many emotes. Ah, the sprite. That almost ended bad. Almost ended very bad. Oh, right. The mantises don't. The mantises don't try to kill me anymore. Thank god I don't need to fight with them. Do not need to start fighting them. Oh god. Oh my god, so many emotes. <laughs> so many emotes. And let me see. Well, I could go either way. And they're all pretty safe. These guys don't try to kill me, so yeah. Up we go. Then I go up. Alright. Yeah, I see where I'm going. I know where I'm going. I wonder if touching this guy hurt me. No, it doesn't. Yeah, they're friends. They're friendly. Unless, you know, I strike first. Then it's first blood. Then they're like, okay, fuck you. I was trying to be nice, but fuck you. It's like, you know what? I kind of deserve it then. I kind of deserve it. He's giving me the bow. He's being respectful. Nice. And I'm just like, hey, hey, smack. Fuck you. Let's fight. I need soul. I need money. So I'm mugging you. Ow, shit. Okay, you know what? There's plenty of mushroom people to slaughter. It's fine. I don't need to kill the mantis people when there's plenty of mushroom people at my disposal for murder. Ooh, plus I can get this. I did see it on the map. I just wasn't sure if it was one I already got or not. I'm not even sure if they show up on the map if I already got them. I don't think they do, but nevertheless. Gary choosing... Motherfucker. Hey, I'm talking here, damn it. Gary choosing violence. Wake the fuck up, samurai. We got a city to burn. <laughs> Southern, you hear me? We got a city to burn. Hope you brought some matches. And maybe some gasoline. Not just to burn the city because my car is out of gas. I need help. <laughs> Say less. Yeah, my car is out of gas too. I need some fuel. And we got a city to burn. Slugs at 12 gauge. Fuck yeah. That's what I like to hear. Okay, yeah, this is a good area to go. <laughs> Where are we dropping? You know what? I was going to leave that up to you, honestly. I'm thinking maybe somewhere in California. <laughs> I don't know why California. It's the first spot I thought of. <laughs> uh, or, you know, we could just 
go to Hawaii. I heard it's lovely this time of year. We drop it in Alabama. <laughs> I mean, yeah, does Southern want Alabama instead? Because that's like in, that's home territory. That's, <laughs> that's home field advantage. Already there, actually. Oh, you're already in Alabama. Yeah, see, it's perfect. That's home field advantage. Oh, fuck. Damn, dude. You must be a blast to go to fucking metal concerts with, with all that head banging. That's awesome. Ow, fucking shit. Don't die. Alright, don't die yet. Doing fine. Oh, God. Gonna headbang? Nope, he ain't headbanging. He ain't gone her. Gary getting asked where to drive. I don't know. I've never got this far. I don't know. I've never got this far. I'm just here now for the lulls. <laughs> here now for fun. Just roll with what comes next. That's what I've lived my whole life by. Just roll with it. Most of the time. Actually, yeah, you know what? That's a lie. Not all my life. But a big chunk of it. Oh, shit. Ooh, money. All right. Pleasant detour. And let's see. Kill all these random things, both for money and because they infuriate me with their presence. I don't know why. I know I look very calm and, you know, down to earth at the moment, but I am just filled with an unbridled rage towards those weird floaty things. I can't explain it. I really can't. Wow. Along with you. You retired. You, you know, rejected Pokemon Sprite. They do kind of look like Pokemon. Actually, everything in this game kind of looks like it could be in a Pokemon game. Uh, can I smack him or no? He's gonna smack me if I try. See, look at that. Like, mushroom. Boo. Used acid attack. Makes sense. See? Pokemon. Total Pokemon. I could totally see you getting away with that, along with Pat quacking. <laughs> Pat just keeping up the quack. Quack, Pat. <laughs> Pat quacking in the corner. See? Oh, that's why I have unbridled hatred towards them, because they turn into these things. Of course. Be gone, Mushroom Man. Let's see. Did you know there was a banned Pokemon game? Banned Pokemon game? For what? I mean, I know Pokemon was considered controversial a while back because of, like... But it was a dumb reason. It was because the game was said to be promoting evolution at a time, and the church took it as, like, a threat to the youth. <laughs> like, uh, it's not threatening anybody, guys. Calm down. Ain't a problem. Oh, God! See? He used rollout. There was a Pokemon fan game that was so good that it literally had to be banned. Oh, Nintendo had to fucking pull that shit. God damn it, Nintendo. I think I actually know what you're talking about now. I think I've heard of stuff like that. Pale Worm. What good to foresee a demise unavoidable. Oh, right. Oh, shit. Right, I'm not immune to Sprite. Yeah, this is the big mushroom. Oh, God, Mushroom Man. Was that your mother? Your father? Your distant relative? Uranium, pretty sure. Yeah, I've heard of that, actually. Yeah, I heard the game was actually pretty good, and it even had a bunch of original Pokemon ideas in it. But, Nintendo being Nintendo, they fucking went through and convinced them to take down the game, ban it. Oh, there we go. Another one down. Oh, shit. And now we're back in Deep Nest. Great. Just great. Although, there are a couple places I could go to now. Some places I can't. Like, I can't go and fight Nas yet because I don't have my shade. I don't have my shade cloak. So I'm gonna have to move on for now. Yep, it even had an extra Pokemon type that was literally OP. Oh, great. Something more OP than original Psychic or Dragon. Gee, what could that have been called? Radioactive nuclear fallout? Radiation type... I was right. <laughs> I was right. Fucking radiation type. The fuckers crawled out of the basement of Chernobyl. They glow and they give you cancer. Fucking Pokemon that give you <laughs> testicular cancer. 
Imagine that. Actually, that sounds amazing. If I kill only Pokemon, we can kill the other player too with a slow moving but difficult to destroy disease that will at least cost the opponent one testicle to survive. Ah, oh, fuck. Maybe two. It was effective against every type except lead and steel. Lead? That's another type. Thought I was playing Pokemon, not Fallout, right? I thought this was Pokemon. Now you're busting out Fallout references? Is a fucking Pikachu gonna come in wearing a Brotherhood of Steel set of power armor? And just whoop my ass with a goddamn laser minigun? I mean, I can't say I'd totally be against that. That actually sounds fucking awesome, <laughs> now that I say it out loud. Actually, yes, I would buy that game. Pokemon. There can only be one Pokemon series. Meanwhile, now Pokemon games. Um, Nintendo, is the game finished? Nintendo. Why, yes. Why, you ask? The game looks like it's not finished. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, Nintendo. You know, they actually tried a while back, too, to get people banned from streaming their games on Twitch. Because they said it was, like defacing of the game or they would do a bunch of copyright strikes or some shit like that yeah didn't end up uh, working overly well because and it doesn't make sense either like why would you ban people from playing your games like isn't it just free promotion at that point the hate to pokemon yeah, I, mean, I like Pokemon. That's the worst part. I haven't played a Pokemon game in so goddamn long. But I don't get why they would, like, take down one of their... Even if it's fan-made. It, from what I understand, too, the fan wasn't even making money off of it, you know? It was a free product. So it made no sense for them to go through with it, other than just a bunch of bastards. Ooh, King's Idol. All right. I mean, even though all that, I still can say I do not have as much rage towards Nintendo as I do Konami. Fuck Konami, dude. So angry with them. It's been, like, six years since they really pulled the war shit off, and I'm still pissed about it. I saw Arceus and was like, what is this? Look what they did to my son. Look what they did to my boy. Yeah, like, what the hell? <laughs> there was a problem with people streaming Persona 5 Royal, too. They could stream the game, except at the start of the new content, at the very, very end of the game, they would get taken down if they showed it. Oh, what? Like, what? It was... What, was Nintendo afraid of showing spoilers or something? Actually, I don't even think... Is Persona Nintendo? I think they've been on a few Nintendo consoles, right? Do you know why FNAF was so good and why there were so many good fan games? Probably because Scott was so okay with it. He was so cool with letting people upload fan games. Yeah, at least for some reason it was strict with certain types of music being played. It was actually a company called Atlas. Oh, Atlas, okay. Yeah, were they afraid of spoiler alerts or is it like what Lucky said and it was a bunch of copyright infringements because of the music? I mean, I believe it. Music, for some reason, is like one of those things you cannot mess with when it comes to copyright. Did I hear a Caterpie? I did! Caterpie! Oh, fucking shit. Kill you. Here we go. Let's see, it was actually coming called Atlas because her creator actually helped develop the fan game. Yeah, Scott was a fucking Chad, dude. I miss him so much. After seeing his post about leaving stuff on Twitter and not doing any more games, like, dude, I was actually sad. I'm not the biggest FNAF fan ever, but I, I respected what the guy made. Like, he really did make something special. And the thought of him getting canceled like that was just awful. I hated that so much. I don't even remember the full reason. No, I think I do. Yeah, I think I remember the full reason. I don't know if I want to bring it up here. Because I don't want to, like, get a whole nother fucking conversation going. But I call full bullshit on it. Like, it was full-on bullshit for him getting canceled. It's actually a company called Atlas. Yep, eh. Like he said, they would let you play some of their music. But then certain types, they're like, I'm going to copyright that. He made lives. I hated that, too, honestly. Yeah, and I... 
I know it was something political. I don't want to talk politics in the stream. I try to avoid that as much as humanly possible. But it was something politically related. And it was just so stupid. Like, it was just so uncalled for. The entire thing was so uncalled for. Like, it really just goes to show you, though, how fucking... How just bad people can behave. Like, okay, he disagrees with you. That gives you no right to fucking send threats to the guy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I watched a video about what happened to Scott, and I was like, Ugh. I know, it's like, what the hell? I didn't yet. I hear politics. Yeah, it was politically related. That's why Scott had to quit. Make a wall and <laughs> the Mexicans pay for it. Uh, hey now, Pat. Remember, we try to avoid politics in this discussion, which is why I'm not going to go into full detail about what happened to Scott Cawthon. Just know that I am going to miss him. Like, in all honesty, I am going to miss him, and I do think it was bullshit what happened to him. Like, it was just such a bad thing to do to such a nice guy. Let's see, there we go. And, well, I'm joking. I know, Pat. I know. <laughs> Just, you know, be careful. Politics are such a hot-button topic that it's better maybe to just leave that topic alone. Penis! Oh, God. <laughs> and a penis. Oh, fuck. I didn't see them. Well, they're gonna come back to life. I know that much. Yeah, look at that. Like, out of goddamn alien. Which, by the way, I'm excited to play, um, Dead Space for you guys. If you guys haven't seen that, I'm so excited to play that again. It's been a fucking long time since I played it. But the reason I want to do that is because I just saw the trailer for the Dead Space remake. And I am both excited and terrified at the thought of it. Because it's not being produced by the same company. Let's see. Yeah, and even... Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Even many game actors get death threats since people are like, his character sucks, so I want the actor to die. It's like, dude, yeah, I hate that so much. It's just a character. And yeah, the actor doesn't always have full control of what they're doing. Yeah, you can't hate an actor because of the character they do. You can hate an actor for totally other reasons, like if they're just a piece of shit. Whoever they are, <laughs> I could name a few right now. <laughs> But yeah, you can't just go, just because you don't like a character, you can't just go blaming the actor. Like, now, oh, for example, I didn't like any of the Twilight movies. I hated those movies. But I didn't really hate um, Pattinson. I didn't hate Pattinson. Hell, he even said he hated those movies, which is pretty funny to think about. Uh, let's see. Though I didn't like the lead actress. She, her acting just, ugh, couldn't do it. Yeah, and even many game actors. I heard it was getting made by the director of Assassin's Creed, apparently. Yeah, it is. Don't take my... Well, it's being made by, um, DICE. Um, at least that's as much as I know is DICE, which is popular for another game. A little game called Mirror's Edge. And Mirror's Edge is a great game. Don't get me wrong at all. That's an excellent game. But otherwise, they don't actually have any horror games in their reputation on their list they haven't done any horror games so that's where it's like a company that's never made a horror game is going to be making a horror game especially an all-time classic like i could definitely see some red flags there like are you sure that's gonna be good but besides visceral studios got shut down by ea a while ago but the developers from visceral that made dead space originally they're at least doing their own thing and making another game called the Callisto Protocol, which looks fucking terrifying, by the way. And it looks awesome. The actor looks at the script and is like, this is what I have to do, I guess. And yeah, that's the tricky thing about acting, too. Like, an actor can call out a script or a director, but most of the time, the actor has to put a lot of trust in the writer and the director in the hope that it'll be good. Because that's what the actor does. They act. It's the job of writers and directors and producers to handle the rest. Where the actor can have some say, though, but many times they don't have enough say, especially if they have a big disagreement with something. 
But yeah, it can just be a absolute train wreck sometimes. And it shows. It can show. Let's see. I mean, shit, I used to do acting. So, yeah. In high school. But, yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. But, yeah, you really do have to trust uh, your writers and your director. And, yeah, they can lead you down the wrong way sometimes. And that just leads to disaster. God damn it. Why must enemies exist that just shoot their young at you? Why? I do not understand. Is that really the best way to kill somebody? Shoot your babies at them? I guess for some people it is. I'll never understand it, but I've never tried. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, for next, when I have a kid, I'm gonna end up just launching him through a catap- Launching him out of a catapult and see how, how much damage he does. Uh, and then I'm going to prison for life. And then there's a situation like Robin Williams. I miss Robin Williams so much. And other actors like him where the script is based around their personality and also the animators or other actors working to catch up with the movement of the actor. Yeah, fun fact. Um, Bruce Lee, you know, master martial artist. When he was doing Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, the they actually had to slow down the footage during the fights because Bruce was just moving too fast for the camera to catch up. The man was an absolute beast. <laughs> what a fucking legend. The best way to kill people is with chloroform. Eh, kinda. Chloroform actually takes a lot longer to work than you might think. I think I read somewhere where it says chloroform is like, you know, you hold it up to your mouth and it's like instant. Actually takes maybe like two minutes. For it to work and in that time i think that person would have plenty of time to turn around and go fuck you doing and then bam punch you in the head and then you just lost that fight oh look builder bugs also let me update my map thank god Let's see i also got the tramway finally which is gonna help out a ton to be able to move through the trams because now i can get out to the up at, uh the uh coliseum where i'll be able to make a shit ton of money and i can get the king's crest so then I can get my uh, shade cloak. So these guys on the way, awesome. And let's see, there's another hidden path down there I need to go check out. There's a lot of paths here I still need to look through and find. No you don't, asshole. Yeah, if I just keep going down this way. Not quite there, a little further, there it is. Oh boy, wall of text. And there's also like the Broadway Beetlejuice actor where he does his own thing sometimes. And like when he saw the actor for Kylo Ren, he was like, Hey you, killed Han Solo. Not cool. The whole being dead thing. Then ran around the stage again and kept singing. And sometimes the other actors laugh when he does something not from the script but stays in character. Oh yeah, that sounds fucking great. Hey, you killed Han Solo. Not cool, man. Anyway, proceeding on with my show now. <laughs> I'd love it. I would love to see that. Let's see what else is here. Oh. Oh, fuck. It's this guy. I could try taking him on. Yeah, I'll try taking him on. Fuck it. Oh, a fellow warrior out here. I thought I was the only one brave enough and strong enough to survive in this foul, forgotten pit. Brave enough and strong enough to survive. Why are you a ghost? Then the best way to kill people is suffocate them with a pillow, then put the pillow back in his place or take a pillow yourself so your fingerprints and eh, that's an idea. I am Galleon, the strongest warrior in Hollow Nest. I came to this monstrous place to test my strength. Clearly you failed. No doubt you wish to test your might as well, hmm? Yes, you and I are a rare breed, quite unlike this poor fellow who has fallen before us. Bro, that's you, man. <laughs> the world is not kind to the weak, I fear. So then, shall we do battle? Let us test our strength in joyful combat. Then people will think they just died by age. Then, like the Broadway Beetlejuice actor during a singing number at the beginning was like, if you die during the performance, we will not stop the performance. Then got back to singing. Then he's right back at it. Challenge the warrior dream. Oh, this guy's tough, too. Now to have my good ability to beat him. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Gotta concentrate. Gotta concentrate. Oh, fuck. Concentrating. 
Oh, not a single hit. Fuck yeah. Unbelievable. I am defeated at last. So this is what it feels like to be bested. Still, though, I am strong, am I not? When you see our king, surely you'll tell him of my valor. Yes, he sent you here to test me, didn't he? I knew he had not forgotten the brave Galil. Galleon. I am ready to join you now, brothers. You and I, let us leave this place together. Let's see. And like the Broadway Beetlejuice actor during the scene number. Oh, yeah. <laughs> America! Fuck yeah! Drumming in to save the motherfucking day, America! Ooh, what's up here? Oh, nice. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to do that when I get to the abyss, aren't I? I'm gonna have to do that part where I need all the fucking lifeblood I can get to activate the door. Oh, that's gonna suck to do. It's not doing the challenge itself that's difficult. It's just getting the lifeblood to do so. Because you gotta go to all these different areas make sure you can find them. The body of a fallen warrior. Is there anything else here? Nope. Nothing at all. So I'm done here. I took him on without taking a single hit, I will add. And sometimes the actor would do a fourth wall thing. Meanwhile, the other actors would just watch him talking. Yeah, one of my favorite, even though it wasn't a fourth wall break, it was still in character, was, um, I think it was Pirates of the Caribbean 2 when Jack Sparrow just starts going, I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt, and he falls down the fucking stairs while staying in character and dancing, I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt. That was totally unscripted, and it was fucking fantastic. Absolutely loved it. Johnny Depp, don't ever leave us. You are a treasure of a man. Oh, fuck these things. Come on, you. Attack me again. Come on, do it. That's right. That's what I fucking thought. Whoa. And up this way. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, there's another tree here I could definitely use. Can I send you something real quick? Yeah, sure. Go for it, Lucky. The Johnny English dude is amazing. Or Mr. Bean guy. Oh, fuck yeah, Mr. Bean. I fucking love that shit. Especially when he's playing um, Black Adder. Oh, then he's great. <laughs> the mind is here. The head is here, but Mr. Brain has clearly left. <laughs> oh, what'd you send me? What'd you send me, Lucky? Let me take a quick look at this. Yeah, the mind is... The, the head is there. But Mr. Brain has clearly left. I love that line so much. Just a way of going, Yes, you, sir. You are retarded. You are stupid as shit. Let's see. Let me look at this quickly. He send you something spicy? No, it's the Beetlejuice scene. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Hey, Adam Driver, you killed Han Solo. Oh, that looks awesome. The fucking worm looks great. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> Adam Driver. Not cool, man. Attack me. Ow, fuck. Okay, he attacked me. Asshole. And where am I going next? Right, still going after that tree. I'm member. Going for the tree. I just gotta remember how to get to it. Fucking thing. Kill you. Where's that tree at? It's over here somewhere, I think. Yeah, here it is. And off we go. If I was sending something spicy, there's a channel for that now. Yeah, <laughs> there's a channel for spicy stuff. <laughs> the not fucking safe for work channel. <laughs> Which it lives up to that fucking name. <laughs> Is not fucking safe. Because there's so much 
fucking going on in that not fucking safe channel. Grab all that. Kill you. Awesome. Take all that. And up I go again. Try to find all this stuff. Can I sneak up on him? I could. I kinda did. Come on, dude. Attack me. Attack me. That's what I thought, you son of a bitch. Keep looking, because I know there's still stuff here. Ow, fucker. Motherfucker. Now, nah, I'm gonna try taking this guy on. Come on, you. You got nowhere to go. Hit me. Hit me! That's what I thought. Hit me again. Come on, try it. Hit me. Come on. Come on. Don't be a wuss. There you go. That's what I fucking thought. Man, I, I think I got plenty of money now. I could go back to the fountain and probably get all the cash I need. And I would be able to get the vessel fragment. Come on. Can I do it? Come on. Come on. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Little old me? Come on. That's what I thought. Ow! Fucker! Fine. Do it again. Do it again. I'm ready for you this time. See? Told you I was ready. Bitch slap you. Asshole. All he does, is that all you do all day? You just sit there? You just sit there waiting for somebody to come over, talk shit about you, and then you decide to smack him? Then I smack you right back. You bitch. I'll beat you in any smacking contest. Slap the shit out of you. Ow, oh, fuck. Now. There's still more. Ah. Ow, fucker. What did I just say? Did you see the asshole I just smacked the shit out of? Oh god, there's a bunch here. This is awesome. Plenty. Give me all of it. All the essence. All the soul essence stuff. Actually, I collect soul anyway. That's how I do my special attacks. Oh, Pat wants a high five. All right, Pat, you want a high five? You ready? Ready for that high five, Pat? You ready? Here comes Pat. Ready? 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 Hi! Yeah! Good high five, Pat. Great high five. Damn, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I also remember seeing the Broadway performance of Wizard of Oz and dog actor for Toto running off stage. But there was no stairs, so all you hear is a loud thump. <laughs> but the actor is like, oh, uh, it just, uh, it just, uh. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> The dog tried to kill itself! Oh no! Oh god. Then she goes, Oh no, Toto! Oh sh It'd be better if she just went, Oh shit, Toto! <laughs> Toto, you suicidal bastard! What the hell are you doing? You can kill yourself after this fucking show! Oh, fuck. That's fucking hilarious. I wonder what he saw. Or she, I don't know. I guess he could get... I, I don't know. I think Toto was a he, or was it a she? I have no clue. Either way, I guess you could have... I mean, what did the dog see? What did that dog see that made him jump off the fucking stage? By the way, if you don't talk much, it's because I'm playing RE8 on Hardcore. Oh, nice, Samurai. How are you doing? How far are you? I beat it on <laughs> the village of shadows. <laughs> well, all you see is the dog running off stage, but then it fell and all you hear is a thud. That somehow makes it even more funny to think about. <laughs> on the fish boss right now. Oh, you're at Moreau. Okay. Yeah, he's, um, he gave, he was difficult. He was a challenge for me. But that's because I kept fucking up, and I didn't realize his weak point until I had already spent, like, an hour fighting him. And I was like, oh, wait, I'm just stupid. I'm not taking advantage of a clear weakness. Shit. <laughs> then I'm going for one last third run on Village of Shadows. Oh, yep. Yeah, I skipped <laughs> doing hardcore. I just went straight to Village. Not the best idea, probably. Probably not the smartest move ever. But I did have an unlimited ammo machine gun, so it made life much easier. Like, stupidly easier. Imagine if I had unlimited ammo for the Magnum. Oh shit. Unlimited Magnum. 
That would be amazing. Since the Magnum, I think when you think about it, really is the best gun in the game. Since it does the most damage out of anything. Let's see. And like when the dog fell off, Dorothy looked at the odds like... The hell just happened? The dog tried to kill itself. I'm not doing it without that unlimited ammo. Oh, you do have unlimited ammo. Okay. Yeah, see? It's like... Once ammo, once you notice ammo starts to get really fucking scarce, that unlimited ammo starts to sound really nice. For that, she yelled, "Where you go? Where are you going, Toto?" Thump. <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> Is the dog all right, Toto? Even the witch is like, "That's some fucked up shit right there." That dog must be very depressed. <laughs> Either that or you saw a squirrel. Who knows? <laughs> you missed my message. Oh, shit. How long are you going to stream for? Um, let's see. What time is it now? 6.28? Yeah, I'm going to go till, uh, go till 7.30. So another hour. And, hey, Zenom! Glad to see you. That was you with the sheep scream. I had to look for a second. <laughs> How you doing, Zenom? Glad to see you. Glad you can make it, buddy. Let's see. Where did I need to go again? Is there a... Oh, there's not a bench here I can rest at. Shit. It's fucking broken. Who broke the bench? Who's the dick that decided to break the bench? And I'm just gonna go to the hidden station then. I think I'm gonna see if I can dump all my money into the fountain and get that vessel fragment. I'm gonna hop over to Balti for a few minutes then. Sounds good, Pat. Yep, we still, we're still going. We're going for another hour. Where's that bench at? Shit, I thought there was a bench around here. Oh, oh, it's over there. Okay. It's not in the usual spot. Bench is usually to the left of where the stag is. This one's over here. There we go. Have fun streaming. I'll be back soon. All right, Pat. You know where we're at, dude. And... Oh, wait. No, I can go up to the, uh, the tram. Yes, I can do the tram now. What's the story in this game? Um, it's kind of complicated. It's sort of, uh, hidden away. But right now, at least what our objective is, Zenon, is we have these three really powerful dudes called Dreamers that we got to kill. And by doing so, we'll get to go fight someone called the Hollow Knight. Yeah, named after the game. And hopefully save this world, even though the Hollow Knight himself is not a villain. Oh, and now we got to visit Grandma, of course. Hi, Grandma. Wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. Grandma's off for meds again. Can't you tell? Ah, your dream nail holds over 200 essence. You're proving your talent in its collection. Have you seen that great door just outside my tribe closed that long ago and forbade its opening? <laughs> yes, Grandma, we know. You're fucking crazy. Ah, but as far as I can tell, I'm the only member of my tribe still breathing. And you're old as shit, Grandma. <laughs> That means I need feel bad about breaking a taboo. As proof of my belief in you, I'll open the door. Good. I'm not going in that door. I know what's in that fucking door. I'm not going there. Fuck that door, dude. I'm not going in that through that goddamn door. There, that door is open and you can enter the glade beyond it. Listen closely in there and you may hear the utterings of bugs long gone. Yeah, I'm not going through that door. So you've collected 300. I can't keep doing this voice. You've collected 300 essence. Yes, I can see the dreams of this old kingdom are starting to cling to you. Very encouraging. You've certainly made my dreary work here more exciting. Being the caretaker of this place hasn't been very stimulating. She kicks you in. Bye, sweetie! <laughs> no, let me out! I don't like this place! There's some asshole who moves really, really fast and kills you very, very quickly! I shouldn't complain, though. Tending these graves and guiding the wielder. All penitence for old crimes. Certain things have to be kept in balance. Take this trinket for your efforts and return with 500 essence. Keep up your tireless work. Oh, shit. She gave me some pale ore. Ah, 500 God. essence. You're a master in the making. Well done. Well done. I have a small reward for you. Plucked from one of my most precious memories. This charm will bring you and the dream nail closer together. Still, the secrets of this kingdom won't be able to hide from you any longer. Take it and return once you've collected 700 essence. 
More gifts await you. Oh, Dream Wielder. Nice. Uh -huh. Grandpa, back in my day, we could move that fast. So you already have 700 essence. I gathered a lot of essence already. I wonder whether the dreamers are watching you as you work, or even the old king. That lock of theirs, desperate but very clever. I wonder how long they thought it would hold. I hold no disdain for them, though. As history goes on, I grow numb to its repetitions. Take your gift and continue collecting essence. What do you have 900? Come back and visit me. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. Yes! Another vessel fragment. Uh, uh How much do I have? Uh, yeah. Hi, Grandma. Yes, I know. You're fucking insane. Oh, I need 900 more. I, oh, I have 894. I'm close. I'm very close. So I'm going to go back then to... Hello, hello. Hey, Ninja Turtle. Glad to see you. Glad you can make it. How you doing, buddy? How am I doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. I went through the door that I said I didn't want to go through. It's because of this asshole. This asshole right here. The bugs within this glade are under my watch. Treat them with respect and you may remain. But raise your nail and you'll contend with me. I'm not going to try contending with this guy. No, sir. Mm -mm. He is an asshole of the highest order. Total asshat. Like, super fucking tough. And on a permadeath run, I ain't taking my chances with them. Mm -mm. Ain't happening. So let's go back to the hidden station. I'm going to be lurking tonight, huh? but I hope you have a good stream. I need to finish God of War 2. Oh, nice, dude. Almost ending it. Hey, congrats. Yeah, thanks for the lurk, dude. Really means a lot. So let's go back to the tram then, because that's probably my next big step. Or, well, I can do the vessel fragment. I can go to the fountain again, and I can cast in my money. Pretty much all my fucking money. All good in the hood. Awesome. Yeah, where did I leave that? Where did I leave that fountain at? It's around here somewhere. Where did I leave it? Like I had control of where that goddamn fountain was. It was somewhere. Ah, it's in this room somewhere. I know that much. Ah, here it is. No, this isn't it. I can hear it. Oh, here we go. Just a little higher up. Ah, a true servant gives all for the kingdom. Let Hollowness Pale King relieve you of your burden. My burden. Being all my money, of course. Yeah, sure. But he didn't take all of it, at least. And now I got that fragment. There we go. Fuck yeah. And there we go. Another fragment. Even more soul. Fuck yeah. Dude, just don't forget you to snack. <laughs> I will not forget, Ninja. You keep reminding me very often. <laughs> It'll be hard to forget when you keep reminding me. <laughs> love you, my dude. Love you too, turtle. I love you, buddy. Mechanism with a slot for some kind of pass. Yes, here we go. All you bros. All you dudes and dudettes. Holy shit, the tram moves. Enter. Let's see, I could go to deep nest. Right, can I go to deep nest? Now where does this tram lead me to? I know we're going to the right leads me to. I wanna see where this one goes, just as like a reminder. Oh, okay, yeah. This takes me just back here. Yeah, I know this place. I lost track of it, I was like, eh, am I sure I don't, I know where this goes or? Am I? No, I wasn't. And now I know. Now I am positive I know where it goes. And let me go ahead and click it again. Click it again! Where am I off to? And that's done. No map available. I'm in the right place. Fucking depressing as shit, Bill. Ah, peaceful though. And I'll be able to do the Coliseum, which I'm not entirely looking forward to because I know how fucking difficult it is. There's the bees! Ow. I meant to do that. Here's my way into the nest. The hive. I wonder if I really should go here. Yeah, I guess I could. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, well, a lot of bad things could happen, honestly. <laughs> a 
lot of bad things could happen here. Oh, fuck! So many bays! All bays! Everything is bees here. The walls are bees. The food is bees. The honey is even made of bee. Very crunchy honey. If you can get past the stinging, it's pretty good honey, though. Pretty tasty honey. It's all bee. I also got that pale ore I need to take back to the dude, but I'm pretty sure I don't have enough money to do that. Give me all your money. We are all bees. We're all bees down here, Georgie. Hi there, Georgie. We're all bees. It's Nicolas Cage's worst Ooh. fucking nightmare. Come back, bee man. I must kill you, and then kill your bees. Ooh, there's also this. Bee man, face my wrath. <laughs> All that money. Hey! Oh God! Oh no! Oh fuck! I remember! I remember! Oh, I remember hating this place! Not the bees! They're in my eyes! Not the bees! Oh my God! That movie, entertaining just for the sake of Nicolas Cage. Where's all that going? I need to collect all of this. Well, I'll have 900 after. Yep, there we go. I got 900. I could go visit Grandma again and get more upgrades or items, whatever she plans on giving me. Hopefully something good. Hopefully upgrades. Oh, God. I also don't have all my upgrades. I want to make that clear. I don't have all my upgrades like I should. I really need them. But I am proceeding this area anyway. Because I hate myself. Because I'm going to make this as unnecessarily difficult as I possibly can. Alright. See anything in here? There's another bee man. Bee man, face my wrath. Ow, shit. It's all bees. You know, they're kind of cute though, aren't they? They're so menacing and evil, yet they're kind of adorable. I don't know why. Bees in general are kind of adorable. Not hornets though! Or wasps. Unless it's torn it from this game, then, you know, <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But, no. Yellow jackets? Those things are evil. So evil. My grandma, I was at her house recently. She's got a yellow jacket nest that's the size of, like, a softball in her goddamn window. It's terrifying. Also, you really want to kick it, but you know it would end very bad for you to do so. And don't kick the hornet nest, even though it looks like a softball. Even though you hit a base. Even though you hit a softball with a bat. I guess I could do that too. I could try doing that also. Oh god. You down. Let's see. What was here that was really good? Oh fuck, he moves fast. God, it's so terrifying. Like, how much of their body is just stinger. How much did they evolve to just be a giant stinging beast of death? Could you imagine that if bees just opened up and it's all stinger? Oh, fuck. Right. I forgot. They will break platforms. Oh, God. That hurt bad. Yep, I'm gonna kill you too. Don't think I forgot about you, buddy. Oh, B, buddy. Oof. All right, I'm good. I'm all set. And I keep checking my map, but I don't got a map. Come on, take them down. God, they're tough. Forgot how tough they are without all my abilities. Oh, shit, right? I don't have my shade dash. Oh, God. It's gonna be bad. I don't think I should have came in here without all my upgrades. I don't think I should have, but... I'm in it for the long haul, I guess. I'm committed to it. Let's 
gonna end bad. I'm gonna die here. I wonder if I'd be able to, like, click out of the game quick enough <laughs> to save myself. I would like to think I could. I don't know if I can, though. The map guy? Where is he? He's usually around here by now. He's like, ah, it's all bees! Oh, I know where that is. I know where to go there. That gives me something good. But that's somewhere outside the hive. Yeah, he's like, oh, I thought he'd be here by now. Meanwhile, I'm fighting for my life against giant bees. Die, bee man! Christ. Evolution really took a step forward with these guys, didn't it? Hey, bee, you want even more stingers? I can do that for you. Or the bee gods just said, you know what? Extra stingers. Go. Also, I'm going to make the bee about ten, about 500 times bigger than it originally was. Okay, I don't need you. I do know what I need to get that. I need to find one of those big bees. You see him, then he leaves. I guess I'll just give him this map. Give this map to my wife. She'll see him again. And I'm like, ah, I need that map, you son of a bitch. There we go. If I can get that big bee to break that wall down, I'll be able to get that upgrade. Come on, bee. Come on, bee. Yeah, right here, bud. Right here. Here I am. Come on, hit me. You idiot. Come on, I'm right here. There we go. Thank you. And that's another upgrade. Oh yeah, more health, baby. Let's see. Then there's a gate between you and the map guy. Damn you! He's like, oh, guess I'll just go give this map to my wife. You stay right there, motherfucker. You stay right there. I'm gonna find a way to you and I swear to God if you move. Swear to God. Let me in! Let me in! That's all I want is to get past that damn gate and buy one of your maps! I see the switch over there, dude! You could flip the switch yourself and let me in, and then I could spend my money on your map! I thought you want me spending my money on your stuff. But no, he's like, oh, you know, I could stay here, or I could even open that gate, but... That's a heavy looking lever, and you know, I kind of like this map. I might keep it. I need that map! Give me the map! Swear to God! Oh boy, I think I smelled it. I think I sensed the boss fight coming up here. Yep. Here we go. Boss fight time. Oh, fuck. Hive Knight! Oh fuck, I didn't see that one. Come on! Oh boy, he's tough. Alright, take that moment. And BAM! Oh god, I hate that attack so much. Oh god, he makes a bees. It's all bees again. All right. I just want to heal. Go again. It's worth it. There we go. Woo! The map guy. You know the wife needs me home anyways. I found some honey for her. Mm -hmm. God, the way he just drops. <laughs> The way the dude just... And he's done. Let's see, that's a big bee back there. That's a very big bee. So, oh, here we go. Yep, the high blood. That'll be good to have. Especially when I have to do the Path of Pain again. That'll be really nice to have. Oh, hi there. My knight, at last you are freed. Small thing, I know you're kind. If you attempt to resolve your past, then know I am not the queen you seek. It is the pale beings that bear blame for your nature. While this hive exists within Alonest, we play no part in its attempt at, uh, perp... Perp... Uh, wait, yeah, that's a new word for me. Perpation. New word. I get it. To rail against nature is folly. All things must accept an end. 
Uh, yeah. Well, except your end. Helping me out. So I think that, yeah, that was about the extent of doing the hive. That was the big reason to do the hive. Was for that boss fight and to get the hive blood. Because now, if I equip it, I'll actually regenerate a little health. Which is really nice for the path of pain. Because then it means I don't have to either heal myself or go through a shit ton of my soul. Or just totally focus on all the health I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Could just let it regenerate, because the Path of Pain gives you a ton of breaks in between trials. So was the bee lady inside the knight's body? No, I'm pretty sure it was the giant bee in the background, but in spirit form, so she was a lot smaller, I suppose. Okay, now I just gotta get to that area. And yeah, that was the knight that was just defending her. At least that's what I figure out. Because the giant bee and that spirit looked a lot alike. Mostly the head looked the same. So yeah, that's who I think it was. She even said she was the, she's not the queen I was looking for. She had a lot of honey. So much honey everywhere. This whole place is filled with honey. Okay, I've been here. Pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, this is difficult to navigate without a map. But I'm figuring it out. I'm getting there. I'm moving through just fine. Oh, great. There's you. Stay down, Super B. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, shit. Damn, now I really wish I had a map. <laughs> yeah, now, see, now I really wish I had a map. Son of a bitch. That would have been awesome to use there. Fuck your books. Goddamn books everywhere. Ooh. Hey, B-Man! Come back, B-Man! I will smite thee! Along with the rest of your bees! The B-Man and his bees, they must be Ooh. smited! Smitted, ow. The smite will continue. Oh, shit, now I'm about to get smited. By the power of B, he compels me. And it wasn't very compelling, because he's dead, and I'm not. The power of B was not strong enough. Ow. Okay, I guess his, okay, his power of B apparently was. He didn't even do anything. You don't even have stingers. You just have cute fuzziness. That's it. Cute fuzziness has been adapted into a major weapon. Fear it. Fear its raw power. It's raw honey-flavored power. Doesn't sound that bad, actually. I make myself hungry thinking about it. Mm. Maybe some toast, some honey. Mm, that does sound nice. Yeah, I think I'm done in the hive, though. Well, half done. There's still a little more I can check. There's still that one hidden area, but I have to go through not the hive. So even though you beat the knight, they still will attack. Yeah, they'll still attack. They're not like the mantises, where you beat the shit out of the mantis lords. And then they're like, oh, you know what? You're badass. All right. You know what? We'll let you we'll let you pass through. Yeah, they're not nearly as cool as the Mantis Lords. Let's see. That's just some energy. Some soul. I gotta find my way. There's a second way into the hive that lets me get into that little hidden room. I just gotta find that. And then I'll be able to... The only problem is I can't really remember where it was. But yeah, find that hidden room. Hello, I'm back for a few minutes, and then I'll be mortal for once. <laughs> oh, then back to back to the mortal realm, eh, Pat? Well, thanks for dropping in, dude. Thanks for coming back. AKA sleep. Yeah, thanks for dropping in, Pat. Glad you were able to make it back to us in time, dude. Let's see, damn it, I missed a coin. Power of B will not stop me. And I guess I can keep going here. Oh, wait, no, this is the area. Yeah, this is another way into the hive. This is so I can get to that hidden room. Yeah, this is it. I'm onto it. I am onto it. Whoop. Yeah, it's 
see it's somewhere around here. Somewhere here. This is how I get into the hive. Come on, die you. Get over here. Oh, there it is. Yes. Damn it. I can't get... I can't swim in the sprite yet, so I can't get to it. Well, shit, how do I... I'm trying to remember now how I would even get the sprite. There's a special ability I can get that lets me swim through the sprite. I just can't remember where the fuck it is. I'm gonna have to do some extra searching. over here somewhere. See ya. Back in the waterways. Let's see. But you can say what you want about it. <laughs> but at least they drive slow in school play. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Another tip. They are not allowed to own weapons and their addresses are always marked down. So if you want to burgle somebody, you got a chance. Got a target. Let's see. That's a whole hidden area. I'm really hoping I'll be able to find that item somewhere. But yeah, it makes me immune to the sprite, so I won't get down. Oh, and then there's Crazy Lady here. No, Gary. <laughs> what? Hi, Crazy Lady. Pantera. Ah, what a surprise. By Davin Doug Gavin Douglas. Oh, this is a fan character. It's not often I receive visitors. It's been so long, ages even. I just hope my manners haven't left me. You've no doubt sensed my affluence. You're right to guess I'm renowned amongst the upper caste of Hollowness. Well, I was, once, until those Cretans cast me out. Have you met them, my former fellows? That's them outside, their bodies shambling around, all mindless and empty. And I'm still alive to witness their pathetic demise. I'm just so happy. Fate can be a wonderful thing. <laughs> they need their fake PS5 and Xbox to get the children to follow them. Did you say anything? No doubt this one will meet its demise at the nails of the city's guards. I'll outlive you too, little grub, as I did all the others. That's what you think, bitch. <laughs> See, this leads me back out to the city. Yeah, and this dude is definitely going to try to kill me, so I'm going back here. Ooh. Yeah, I opened the door, so have fun. In times past, I would have spoken with your likes, but now the rest of my cast are wonderfully distantly deceased. If I didn't welcome you, I'd never have anyone to share my happiness with. <laughs> yeah, you got a point, crazy lady. Well, I'm going back down here because I need to find the secret of swimming through Sprite. The spicy Sprite. Otherwise, I might have to do a quick Google search to remember because I have the worst fucking memory. So it's a crazy happiness lady. Yep, crazy happy lady. Oh, and there's this dude. Who I had to put down. Because he thought he could ambush me. Aha, no sir. It was you who was ambushed. Yandere. <laughs> a Yandere. Ow! Son of a bitch. I hear a Caterpie somewhere. I'm gonna keep looking. Let's see. Only those who prove their honor in combat may enter the Grove Beyond. The Defender. Oh, this is, um... Why would, uh... The Defender? Is it, um... Is it Dumb Defender? Am I in his area? No, this isn't his area. This is somewhere else. Let's see. I think this is where it is, though. I think this is where I need to go. I'm pretty sure this is how I will gain my immunity to Sprite. Pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, though. Especially when I'm so goddamn lost. Yeah, this has to be it. This has to be it. Oh, shit. Yep. No doubt, this is it. Oh, fuck, here they come. Oh, fucking shit. Yeah, some defenders you were. I just whooped all your asses. Haha. <laughs> Assholes. Let's see. Oh, all right, we're on to something. Yzma's Grove. 
Yeah, this is it. This is definitely where it is. Now I'm positive. Or at least there's something valuable here. Ah, uh, here. Yep. I knew it. Bismuth's tear. Acid shall be repelled. Swim in acidic waters without coming to any harm. We can survive in a sprite now. I knew it. Ogrim. There's no time. I wonder who that is. Who's Ogrim? Do I know him? Probably not. Swimming in the Sprite. Swimming in the Sprite. Oh, it's so delicious, but it burns your skin without this tear. Caterpie! You're free, Caterpie! Now, I'm gonna go up here. I still got a lot of area to explore. Now I can go in the Sprite! The spicy Sprite. Spiciest of Sprite. Yeah, was there anything over here? Here I could see. Let's find out. Let me see. Anything at all? Nope, doesn't appear to be. But now I can get to the hive. The other section of hive. No, you don't. Nope, ain't having it. Oh shit! I can get some soul from this thing. This nasty ass thing. That says absolutely nothing. This is why you die. You have no knowledge for me. You will die now. And I, I don't know why I keep checking the map. I guess it's some vain hope. It's like me opening my refrigerator, then closing it, hoping there will be more food in there the next time I check. There never is. Ever. Unless I go grocery shopping. That's a different story. Anyway, I might gonna go and be mortal. All right, Pat, you have a good sleep, dude. You go and be mortal for a while. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in, dude. Thanks for hanging out. And oh, Gary, you thinking of it wrong? I'm thinking of what wrong? Oh shit, this is the wrong way. I'm facing the wrong way. God damn it. Have good sleeps, K Pat. Oh, don't not in the Not the spikes. Not spikes. Here we go. Spray. Yep, the crystals. I am aware of the power of the crystals. You don't open and reopen the fridge to hope that there is more food in it. Well, then what do you do? They don't just say put more food in it. Let's see, I'm still in a hidden area. Still an area I haven't explored. Ow, shit. Hey, I've killed enough of those guys. Awesome. Down, keep exploring. Ah, you're so ugly. Must die. You must die. I am sorry, but you are hideous. You must be be felled. Okay, well now it looks like I'm in an area I have explored. Pretty sure, anyway. Where am I? You reopen it to see if your standards have dropped low enough to make the thing you would eat if you literally had nothing else left. A sauce sandwich. <laughs> Just some ketchup, mustard, mayo. Just put it all on a piece of bread and fold up the bread and there you go. That's food. Yeah, I've been here before. This area I have definitely explored! I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm okay. Although there is a path down there it says I haven't gone down yet. Probably the same area that I just explored that I just came out of. But tell me I'm wrong. You're not. I know I've been driven to that point a few times. Not to literally make a sauce sandwich, but to where you're just like, fine. Guess I'm eating this. At least until I go grocery shopping again. Oh, it just leads down here. Yeah, this is the area I was literally just at. Uh, I don't know if I want to fight the flukeworm queen though. I mean, maybe I could try. I could give it a shot. But fuck, that'd be bad. Should I just say fuck it and try to fight her anyway? But yeah, bye, I'm gonna be mortal for a while. All right, Pat, you have a good sleep, bud. You be mortal for a bit. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna hate myself afterwards. I've seen a video where this guy checked his fridge and was like, well, looks like we got nothing in the fridge. Gotta order takeout then. Then his mom looks in the fridge and brings out a gourmet dish and says, nope. 
have fun for the rest of the 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, 24 hour stream, sure. I'm totally doing one of those. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you drowned, fucker. Too many of you assholes don't know how to swim. That's a problem for you, not for me. It's a blessing in disguise. That's right, bring it on. Oh, shit. I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret this so fucking much. The Flukeworm Queen is not that hard as long as you have the right skill, which I do not. No, it's like saying have fun for the rest of your day, but then ominous. <laughs> Just an ominous way of saying have fun. Oh shit, how did I not hit you? Why can I just suck ass? Who knows? Ow, you little shit! God damn! God damn you all! You see nothing in the fridge, then somehow your mom or whoever brings out some food and you're like, Ugh. How did you do that? That's how my mom was whenever I say I lost something. I'm like, Mom, I can't find I can't find my controller. And she's like, Isn't it on the table? I already looked, it's not there. What the hell is that? And she pulls out the controller and it's like, How the fuck did she do that? What witchcraft do you possess, mother? I never understand the ways of mom. And the dark magic she knows. Alright, well, this might be the end of Steel Soul unless I panic and just quit out of the game early enough. Watch, I'm gonna regret this immediately. Uh, I have to kill you! You need to die! Oh. You know what? I may not have had as many upgrades before as I did now after that fight, so... Okay! That was not as bad as I was expecting. Sure, I didn't have my ability. That makes it way fucking easier, but I guess I didn't need it. <laughs> and Lucky just quacks. Alrighty! I am no longer scared shitless at the thought of fighting that enemy. Any more hidden things here? No. Not at the moment. Let's see, I need to get back to... Well, I need to go visit Grandma again so she can give me another item. And then I need to go back to the hive so I can get the hidden item that's there, too. This leads me to the Godmaster stuff, so I don't need to do that yet. Especially, it's not necessary to do the DLC to get 100% completion. Thank God. It'd be so fucking insane to do it that oh. I think he glitched. Yeah, this dude just glitched. He's stuck in... Oh, he's stuck in an animation. I can't even kill him. The fuck? Why did I heal? I did not need to heal there. There we go. Oh, I'm good. So yeah, I need to go back to the hive so I can get that, another item, but I also need to go see grandma again so she can give me another item. Not cool, bro, the whole being dead thing. No, that's why I'm trying to avoid it as much as possible, because I'm so cool. I hope. I think. Maybe. Please. Acknowledge my coolness! God damn. Kamikaze bats everywhere. Please die. Thank you. And uh, you die next. Go down. Goddamn flying pufferfish monster. Bug thing. Now. I don't know what anything around here is. I know I have a journal that says exactly what something is. But I never use it. You know, I could go and... It might be suicide, but it would be another good way to get some essence. Well, even though I can't actually die from it. Meanwhile, Samurai in RE8 wishing everything would just stay Very dead. <laughs> I'll do a Wanderer's Journal. I feel that, Samurai. A Wanderer's Jen. Journal. Have you heard that saying about stone journals? If danger lurks close by and your nail is dulled with wear, just swing your journal at your foes with blunt and deadly flare. <laughs> just hit them with a rock. <laughs> 
It's a good one, isn't it? And accurate. They sure have heft to them. Them I mean, it's just accurate. a rock, dude. Of course it does. Give me that King's Idol. Oh, Paul. King's Idol, eh? Hollow Nest's king was an elusive figure, deified by the citizens with the king rarely seen. Worship was offered through these idols. There's an expert craft to them. Few alive could match the skill. Helma Dodka. Yeah, I got nothing else for you, but you gave me plenty of money, so, you know, that's worth it. Eh, it makes it worth it. So, yeah, I'm going to go back up to the Soul Sanctum, and I am going to attempt to take on the Soul Tyrant. Because if I, if I can kill him, it'll give me some really good stuff. Oh, shit, that's not what I want to do. Double check all the, all the stuff that I have here. Yeah, I got Spell Twister. That's another charm I can get that's up here. Yeah, I'm killing you. I need your money. Going further up, please. And that's as high as it'll take me. Whatever. Hmm, there's a switch there I could flip. clip. I uh, make my way down to it. Be a decent shortcut, probably, I bet. Ah, oh, fuck. Asshole. Oh, hey, wait, can I flip the switch? No, I can't. I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I think this was the wrong way. This was most definitely the wrong way. Well, shit. And I can't go back. Oh, wait, I can go this way. Oh, I already flipped that switch. I'm just stupid, that's all. Nothing new here, folks. Just me being dumb as a box of rocks. Trying to navigate my way through this fucking maze. Oh, it's this way. Doy. And I hit this. God, this is going to be a tough fight, though. Soul Tyrant is a tough fucking boss to take on. But if I die, I won't get booted out of the game. It doesn't count as like a death death. It just counts as you getting kicked out of the spirit world. Uh, now I just gotta make my way back to him. Where he will probably whoop my ass. Ooh, I need that soul actually. Ow, you dick! What the is your problem? The living jizz returns! There's another switch I could flip if I found my way to it. I should take the old quick route here. That soul would have been nice, but eh, whatever. Whatever. I'll work with what I got. About to take on a fucking tough as shit boss, so. Wish I had more. I'll just make it. It'll work. Keep telling myself that, and it'll happen. I hope. Please. Pray for me. <laughs> Pray that I can take this boss down. monsters and move on all right asshole where are you hiding you son of a bitch you owe me some soul your soul in particular all right yeah now i'm close yep here he is all right dickhead coming after you i ain't content leaving you dead i gotta kill your soul too lucky playing penis Oh shit, this is the wrong way. Thankfully, it doesn't hurt me. I just get booted back here. And the game saved. It's like, way to go, idiot. You ignored the very obvious platform right here. Alright, where are you at, asshole? There he is. Fuck, this is gonna be bad. I don't have my shade cloak. Oh, and it's so much bigger. Oh god, okay, don't try healing. Jesus Christ, this is gonna be bad. I gotta take it easy. Oh fuck, I was trying to do an attack. Oh shit. Heal. Oh, I forgot I don't have my shade cloak! Uh. 
Can I do this on my first try? I'm gonna attempt. Come on. Except without my shade cloak, this is a little more challenging. The game, I'm surrounded by a bunch of idiots. <laughs> I'm surrounded by idiots. Yep. Get used to it, game. It ain't gonna get any better. But if I can take down this dude on my first go, even though I fought him before, I fought him a lot before. Oh! Hit him with that. Damage. Oh, fuck. God. He's such an asshole! He keeps teleporting everywhere! That was dumb. I should just try to avoid that attack as much as possible. Oh, I hate it when he does that. Hate it when he does that shit. The fucking psych out there. He did it again. What a dick. He's such a prick, dude. There, I got one hit it. Go. Heal. Hit him. Oh, he's doing it again. What a asshole. Oh, you cut muffin. Oh, here he goes. Now he's angry. God, it gets so bad. Come on, stay alive, stay alive. Oh, you son of a bitch. Come on. Why won't you die? Oh, fuck. Here he goes again. Ugh. Stay alive. Stay alive. Keep going. Come on. Okay. Woo. First try! <laughs> yes! Alright, asshole. Watch your soul. In my dreams, I would see, could see it. The kingdom's salvation. The cure for the plague. The answer was in the soul that animates our bodies. But the king. Why? He opposed everything I did. His jealousy. His madness. By standing against me, he robbed me of my immortality. Now the king and his kingdom are dead. But I will live forever. Oof. Oh, now I can go see Grandma. I got plenty of soul now. Yeah, well, you're dead now, dude. So it really doesn't matter what you think, does it? Actually, I could probably just go down this way, right? Um, either way works. Yeah, but either way works. Ah, you dick. Heal. And I'm off again. Get out of here. This is nowhere helpful. A bunch of this crap keeps coming to life. Stay down! And now I go this way. And now he literally is just a corpse. No spirit, nothing. Just an empty husk. Good riddance. Around here. Can I break this? I can't. Right, one of the things I can't break. I can go down here, though. So, yeah, I think if I'm... I'm gonna go try and find Grandma. I think my best bet is gonna be to go to that stag station over there. Yeah, if I go to that one, I should be able to take a stag station back to Grandma, and then I'll be set to go. Grandma! I hope you wrote my name in the will before you died! I don't think you're dead yet, though. This way. Ow! Dick. 
Stay dead. So why did he look so skinny? I don't know. I guess that's just showing his weak point. Or that he was weakened by my attack or something like that. Do a quick save there. I guess it's like somehow show him being fat and big with him powered up. But after that he lost all his power. So he can no longer fight me. Is it because he eats souls? I think it's more like he just powered up his soul alone. So much that he was able to do that. I think. I don't know. Maybe if, like, Queen or Wolf was here, they could tell us. They know way more about this game than I do. And the lore. This way. Alright. Where are you at, Grandma? I'm on my way, Grandma! Do another save. Grandma! You are not Grandma. Take me to Grandma. See, I need to go to the resting grounds. Yes. Ugh, get you off. I should be able to get a lot of good stuff now since I got 1,200 essence. Should have plenty to get some really good stuff. Resting grounds. This is it. Grandma! Are you taking your meds? Grandma's not taking her meds. Grandma's still off her meds. Ah, Weirder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. The dream nail now holds 900 essence within its core. Are you surprised that this old kingdom has so many hidden dreams? Yes, you're starting to see them. The connections between us and the dreams we leave behind like prints in the dust. The time has come for you to learn how to revisit the places connected to you. Oh, we got the fast travel now. Hold the dream nail tight, wielder, and imagine a great gate opening before you. Fuck yeah. Now we got the fast travel. Master the dream gate. Hold Y, hold down while using the dream nail to set a dream gate. Hold up while using the dream nail to travel to set dream gate. Anything else? The dream nail glows bright. It holds over 1,200 essence. Looking into it, I could see so many memories peering back at me. So many asking to be remembered. None of us can live forever, and we so we ask those who survive to remember us. Hold something in your mind, and it lives on with you. But forget it, and you seal it away forever. That is the only death that matters. Ha! Huh. So they say. Enough of that. Take this relic and come back to me with 1,500 essence. Go! <laughs> hey, an arcane egg. I can sell that for a shit ton. Fuck yeah, that's a lot of money. Let's see. I think I'm going to set my, uh... Could probably do it here. Actually, I might want to do it in Dirt Mouth. That'd probably be a good bet. Yeah, that's probably a good place to set. Oh, that's Forgotten Crossroad. Shit. <laughs> that was one off. Only one, though. Uh, take me to Dirt Mouth, please. There we go. Oh, so I got so much money now. I can buy some stuff from Sly. And let me... Is it like that? No, I need to set it first. There we go. Or... Ah. Ah, it doesn't work here. How about... Hmm. Doesn't work here. That's weird. There it worked. <laughs> Gary gets off, then gets back on. Sorry, wrong area. The guy, make up your mind! Like, sorry, I was just one off. I mean, you like running anyway, so that big a deal. Vessel fragment, I will take that happily. Nice. We only need two more of those, and then we are set. Let's see, simple key? Yes, I am going to really want that simple key. What for? I'm not sure yet, but yeah, I'm going to want it. Gathering swarm. And heavy blow. Take all this stuff. Item purchase. I think I need to buy this off of him so that he's sold out. Papa Back again? You know I haven't any stock left, yes? You cleaned me cleaned me out. Or were you hoping to sneak a peek at my mountain of Geo? Well, it's mine now, and fairly traded. Yeah, fair point. But I do need to get, buy all his stuff so that I can go back and uh, he'll open up his other room. Let's see. <sighs> Bapanada. Trampin. Yeah, actually, I'll take that. I mean, it's not hard to figure out where the trams are. They're pretty much in big designated rooms just for them. But it is still good to have. 
So let's see here. Where would I need to go next? Maybe I could go talk to... No, I don't have enough Geo for a male snuff. Let's see. Could do the hidden station. Let me check my map. Double check everything. I do have enough ore. I could get an upgrade. Let's see, the City of Tears. I don't think... No, I can go there. I think if I went up, I could get the next dreamer. Let's see, there's another one, too, in the fungal waste. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to... um. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the hidden station so I can get to the tram again. Because I need to do more exploring around there. It would be nice to do all this first before I go after the dreamers. And then go after the Hollow Knight. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Because Hollow Knight is going to kick my ass if I don't have all my upgrades. If I don't have the game at 100%. Especially Radiance. Radiance will absolutely demolish me if I don't have all my upgrades. I, even if I got the Void Heart and I get to Fighter, I need everything to make it work. So let's call up the tram. Yes. And here it comes. There you are. Let me in. And off we go. Ah, okay, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Off we go. Smoothie. Now, I can also get that uh, item in the hive. Still no map guy around, though. What an asshole. Gary, it's all coming together. Finally, I have them all. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even close to having everything. Not even close. Keep clicking my map in the vain hope that I'll see the map and it'll give me some useful information, but nope. Never works. Never ever. But now I can swim through this. So I can get to that other item in the hive. Now if only the map guy is around here somewhere. Here it is. Here we go. This is what I needed. Fuck yeah. Oh, is it just a Caterpie? Oh, it's a Caterpie, okay. Caterpie! You're free, Caterpie! Honestly, Caterpie, I was kinda hoping you would be a mask fragment or something, but, oh well. You're free, Caterpie. I'll have to go talk to Caterpie Dad again. Free to die, yeah, we know what happens. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it! I don't want to talk about it. Kingdom's Edge. Map dude, where you at? I know you're here somewhere, you ass. I know if I go this way, I'll have to take on Hornet again. Shit. Oh, fuck. Well, I need everything I can get, so I may as well. Oh, I hate these things. They're evil. Where's it going? Ah! No! Why are you like this? Ah, shit! They're so jumpy! They're so bouncy! A man of greed. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I'm sending these guys to their deaths so I get free stuff. <laughs> oh, God, I hate these things. You know what? I don't even think I want to fight you. Yeah, I don't want to fight you. I don't need to complete my hunter's journal. Oh, God, I hate him so much. You know what? I'm going to kill... God, I hate him! I hate him! Worst enemy in game. Must annihilate all of. Eradicate. Exterminate them all. Unless, you know, I get smart and I actually figure out how to fight. <laughs> Let the purge begin. Okay, see, unless I just get smart and I figure out how to kill them, no problem. Oh, wait, this dude. 
Hey, he teaches me stuff. <laughs> hey, Just Oro! Hmm. How did you find me? Down here where the world ends. Yes, I know why you're here. You came to learn a nail art from the legendary nail master Oro. It is the law of the great nail sage that I must pass down my teachings to those who are worthy. But no law forbids me from accepting a payment for my time. If you truly wish to train under me, prove it with Geo. Oh, fuck, I don't have enough. Those who do not share their strength will never learn. My master used to say that. Substitute Geo for strength, and you'll have my own views on the matter. Be gone. Ugh. When the music suddenly ends, right? Even though this dude is just like, eh, no, give me 800 bucks and I'll train you. It's like, asshole. See, this thing do anything? Stronger brothers. Ha, huh, wonder what that means. Yeah, some extra soul, I guess. Oh, hello. There we go. This way. Fine, I'll come back when I have enough money. Then I expect that asshole to train me. Down again. Die, please. Ow, you shit. I hate him so much. I shouldn't hate him so much, but god damn, they're so annoying. Oh, and these things. Even worse. Damn, triple shot. Couldn't you use the dream gate to teleport back to sell that egg, or did you already sell it? I didn't sell the egg. No, I didn't sell it, actually. So I still have it. I just forgot where to sell it at. I think in, um... Well, I think I need to use that simple key that I found to sell it. Ooh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, I hate you. Asshole. Now let me heal. Where does this go? Oh, I think if I... I think there's something else over here. I think there's another rancid egg I can get over here. Yeah, sounds like it. Or wherever this leads. Hmm. Nah, I think I'm gonna go the other way. Because that's what leads me to, uh... The King's Seal, and we'll all have to fight Hornet again. So I think if I was going to end stream anywhere, it would probably be after fighting Hornet. Oh, or just saving a Caterpie. I mean, that's pretty good, too. Let me keep looking. Oh, here we go. Ah, we're on to something. Yep. This looks familiar. I wonder if it leads to where I want it to lead. Oh, well, there is money, so, you know, it already makes it worth it. Go. Holy shit. Yep, this does lead to where I thought. Oh, hello. It's a blank slate. Can I not? Oh, excuse me. Nothing there. Oh well, blank slate. Ah, here we go. Shit, I missed! How the fuck did I miss? Soul, thank you. Let me check up here again, just in case. So I don't miss anything of importance. Nothing. There is nothing here. all the soul I can get. Hornet's gonna be fucking tough as shit this time around. Oh, hello. Or it's just a shit ton of Geo. Holy fuck. Fuck, look at all that money. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I don't even remember doing that. Is that all that was here? Is that it? Is that all that was down here? I think that was everything. Really? I thought I'd have to fight Hornet again somewhere, huh? Maybe this isn't the right area. I could have swore somewhere around here that I was on the right track. Maybe not. It was more of a snowy area where I had to fight Hornet again. This, this is clearly not snowy. But that is actually all the time I got for this episode. So thank you, everybody, for joining me on this. I hope you all had fun. I know I did. We definitely got more done. 
wonder how much we're actually... Oh, it doesn't say what my completion is yet for Steel Soul. Have a good day. You too, Lucky. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on this stream. And hey, y'all liked it. You can always hit the follow button. It really does help me out a lot. And make sure to tell your friends about me. And hey, oh, what the hell is that? It's that fucking echo, though. <laughs> Thank you for the stream, dude. Hey, thanks for coming, Satmarai. Thank you so much. And like I was saying, we do have badges and emotes. If you feel like subbing, if you feel very generous. And hey, join our Discord. There's a bunch of cool people there, all hanging out, having a good time. And now I am going to find somebody to raid. Let's see, who haven't I raided in a while? Yeah, there's a, uh, who's this? Who do I see that could go for a raid? There's our entertainment. We give them a raid raid them in a good long time. Let me see. Raid. RR. Entertainment. Alrighty. Let me get that set up. There we go. Hey, go give our entertainment some love. They deserve it. You know they do. And hopefully I will see you all again in the next one. Agarios. Out! <laughs>